back and we're doing um, our second installment of our VBS Patio Talks and I am so lucky to be here today with Emily Fowler. Hello. <laughs> um, Emily's one of my favorite people in the whole world and so she's brilliant and she's beautiful but more importantly she's one of the kindest people I know and I'm thrilled Aww. to get to talk to her today. Hey, Emily, you're no. so kind. So first things first, Emily. Yes. We are on a patio. We're on your favorite patio. What patio are we on today? We are on Uncle Julio's patio. Okay. I love Uncle Julio's patio. Yes. We love it because it's huge. Huge. Huge patio, which means they usually have seating. And we love it because, well, I love it because of their queso. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and their swirl. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. So, yeah. And they have great guacamole and the chocolate pinata. The chocolate um, pinata is an event. If you haven't done that with your family for someone's celebration, do it. It's like 25, 30 bucks and it's a ton of fun. The kids get a bat and get to break it open. There's a lot of it. So much food. So much food. So, um, next thing, Emily, favorite yes. ice cream or favorite snow cone flavor? Not a big ice cream fan. I mean, yeah. I like ice cream. But the reason the snow cone option is in here is because of Emily. Emily's yes. not a big ice cream person. I'm not a big ice cream person, but I do Which love a good crazy. snow cone. I, um, I like either a sugar free coconut or a tiger's blood. Can't go wrong with tiger's blood. Absolutely. A sugar-free coconut snow cone is as close to a pina colada as you can get. It's true, and you don't feel guilty about eating Absolutely. it because it's sugar-free. Nothing a says bonus yes. enjoyment. Summer couldn't be more snow cones, sugar-free coconut. So. Yeah. Okay, so you know the reason we were doing these VBS hat patio talks is just to kind of let everybody know a little sneak behind the curtain as to why we do things. We actually have intentions the way we do things. It may not seem that way <laughs> all the time. But um, today we're going to talk about two things. One, um, one, why we don't charge for vacation Bible school. Um, and so, Emily, you know, we've made that. That's a very intentional choice on our part. Mm -hmm. As a church, as a team, VBS team. Right. Why do we not, why do we not charge for VBS? Well, you and I have had several conversations. Something I feel very passionately about is not charging children to attend VBS and learn about how much God loves them. Absolutely. It is very true that Vacation Bible School, for some of these children, is the only yeah. church time these kids have all year long. That's okay. including Christmas or Easter. VBS mm -hmm. is a big deal. Right. Um, yeah, it's five days in a row. Right. right of, uh, three hours at a time. That's, yeah. Right. It's very um, missional for yep. me. Yeah. To... Yep to just teach these kids and to make it available for everyone and I know there are varying opinions on whether or not we should charge it Definitely. is yeah no and, and, and valid opinions sure. and, and excellent points and great logic and, and I know other churches do charge for BBS or at least recoup the expense for a shirt or something right but um, you know I just it's something I feel very passionately about is not not charging these children and well you know we we don't we, we don't want anyone to not get to come. Right. And and I would worry that someone might not be able to come. Right. Well, and some people think it sounds silly that 10 or 15 or $20 is a game changer. But the reality is for a lot of our community, 10 or $15 may not be in the budget for one kid or three or Absolutely. four. Right. And layer that on top of child care in the summertime right. when they're not in school. Right, exactly. Yeah, so that's just more cost. Exactly. Well, why not do a scholarship program? We get that question all the time. Why? Well, if, if you don't want to charge, let's do scholarships. Right, and another, again, another it's another great point. Why, why don't we do scholarships? Well, when you have a scholarship type program or call us if you need help, that requires someone to raise their hand and say, I can't, for an amount of 10 or 15 or $20. Right, right. And that's, that's, that's em embarrassing to some. Absolutely. It, it shouldn't be. But again, why put a level of restriction to Absolutely. put someone in that place? And, and yeah, and I don't, I don't want someone to think, even question, um, you know, question should I even ask? Um, so then, the question number two is, um, so we do something that I don't know very many BBS others that do this, but we have a morning session that runs Monday through Friday, uh -huh. and we have an evening session that runs Sunday through Thursday. We do the same thing in the morning and the yes. evening. Why in the world would we want to do that? Well, <laughs> because for a lot of people, getting us, us, <laughs> us, us um, 
I'm a, I'm, I'm a working mom, you're a working mom, Abby's a working mom. A, a lot of our um, participants are working people. Um, some people work outside the home, some people work in the home, some people are available in the morning, some people are available in the evenings on the volunteer front. But in regard to, to children, um, it's, it is sometimes impossible if you work outside the home or inside the home. If your child is in daycare or hangs right. out with Nana yeah. and Papa during mm -hmm. the day, sometimes transportation is an issue for your child to come from Absolutely. 8 to noon every day. And so we have the evening option where parents can can get their children um, or grown-ups. We have a lot of aunts and uncles and nanas and papas that bring their kids. Yes. Yeah. Ours. <laughs> Ours. Yeah. yeah. So um, it, it gives grown-ups an opportunity to get the children in the afternoon, get them up there. We provide a snack, supper, dinner. Because Fantastic. As, as you put it so well, that it would require teleportation to <laughs> pick up a child from daycare, get them fed, get them to BBS by, you can't, by, by, by 5.30 <laughs> That's right. at night. So um, we, we do offer an evening program so that that population of kiddos can come learn how much God loves them too. Absolutely. And again, anything that we can do, if, if we are physically able to do it, I think that we should try. I think that we're called to Absolutely. provide these for, for all kids. Yeah, we. I mean, that is that is job one. Yes, job one is making sure kids know about God's love and that God loves them no matter if they have working parents or their families in a situation where they can't pay the fee or whatever. That God loves them right where they are. Um, you know, the other thing we, we've talked about the beauty of the night VBS. And I think, honestly, if we were to only do one, night or morning, we'd probably just do the night ones because we're working moms and we get it. But, um, but uh, is, is it gives another opportunity for people to volunteer. Sure, sure. Um, you know, BBS doesn't work without lots of volunteers. Lots of volunteers. And we have some great people that can't get away from work 9 to 12, Monday through Friday, to, to volunteer. And nighttime gives them a chance to spend time with their kids. And I want to tell you, nighttime, we have more dads. More dads at night, More for dads sure, at night down. have volunteer, and it's a great chance for them to be with their kiddos um, and neighbors. Um, but we do have some dads in the morning. We do. We do. I mean, Emily and I and Abby, all three of us, um, push pause at work so we, we we take the week off so that we can be a VBS and we have some dads that do the same thing it's a huge commitment well and you know I can only speak for Jared I can't speak for the other dads but he comes in the morning and then I tells it to Fort Worth for a couple hours yep. and comes back at night and Absolutely. it's a push and it's a stress but he at the end of the week every year he just can't wait for the next year it's it's rewarding for the volunteers I know it's great to watch the kids develop during VBS, yep, and, yep. and they have a great time, and it's good, but it is it is so rewarding for the adults. Absolutely. And I have so many adult volunteers and youth volunteers that come at the end of the week and go, man, I really didn't know if I wanted to help out, but I'm so glad I did. Yep, absolutely. Little I, Susie Q, little Johnny Smith, they were awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Or little, you know, James was outrageous. Um, <laughs> We have a few of those too, but hey, they turn your eyes to God for sure. <laughs> so, okay, so thank you for for listening in to our VBS talk for today. Um, thank you to Emily for joining us thank today. You, Tammy, and for thank you for putting us on. Uncle Julio's for this beautiful patio. Absolutely. Um, thank you, God, for this gorgeous day. We're gonna see you soon, and remember, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Bye, y'all. Bye.